because you apply the field there. Mm -hmm. So now we uh, will apply the. Oh, hold on. Do it backwards. Huh. Who builds something that doesn't label buttons? Uh, that's <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to switch these switches and not move it very much, which is the hard part. Okay, so here we've we've actually we, we've captured the background frame in memory, and now we'd set the threshold. So you can set a threshold for movement uh, just based off of a um, uh, subtraction out of here. Really simple. On the speed, on the speed on the object, right? Okay, so now it's kind of a uh, transparent. Uh, wait, hold on. There we go. So now things that are moving are red, and you can see uh, I forgot your name back there, but uh, he was standing there when we when we froze the frame, and now it moved. So we actually see all the way in the back there what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we see your hand actually. Yeah, so your hand is just trying to hold very still. So would you ever move? Is kind of lines up back up yeah. the matrix. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. that Can you adjust your uh, threshold dynamically or not? Which one? Threshold? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can, so right now. Yes, I can see your hands, but how Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you change the threshold now? Yeah, so there's a threshold. And right now I only have a very low um, resolution of change on that threshold. I, I assign four bits to it, and you know, it's a 255. Uh, uh, you know what? This, this can be uh, applied to the uh, security camera, mm -hmm. the type of stuff. Yep. And you know what? Uh, a long time ago, I was thinking about, you know, when we go to the swimming pool, we need that security, right? To make sure everybody is safe. Right. Thinking about use image process to see if people disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see if people stay there, <laughs> not moving. Right. So, un so unintentional things uh, in this process, we'd actually we can detect whether you capture a scene and see if something was was removed from a scene as well. So, if you can turn my uh, my coat or uh, turn my chair. Uh huh. So as if so. If, for example, my, that chair is moved, now you've okay. got a shadow there where it was before. Yeah, yeah. Then you, something was something was uh, removed from the scene. Actually, it was. <laughs> no, it's only. It's like my, it's yeah, the because so, so this is goes into the color. contrast issue. Yeah. yeah if I have yeah. a low contrast image, um, things do blend in, and the motion isn't detected because when you subtract the uh, background from the foreground, you know, it's, it doesn't reach the threshold. Uh, the other thing is the. Uh, if you, there's a row of LEDs here, so as more movement occurs, that uh, that ends up going up a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to see, but uh, if someone starts jumping around, it's, uh, then it, oh, it's you more mean, significant. You mean the number right here? Uh, just the, uh, the LEDs. Oh, yeah, yeah, the LEDs, I see that, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, we we'll see that. Just like a... Yeah, yeah. and like it's pretty course. low threshold right now. I have a... Uh, Go row by row, um, if there's more than a 10% change, it increments a uh, accumulator for the vertical side. And then for the vertical side, if it's more than 10%, then it adds onto this, and then that's, uh, that's basically how it detects motion. Hey, Will, can you raise your hand again? So, isn't like the brake color, you know, brake color edge is not quite. I think that's because of the contract ratio. Oh. Oh, you mean uh, when he held his hand up, it was like one pi part of it? Yeah, but if, if, if yeah, you look see, at Yeah, see, like my hand or whatever, uh -huh. it's only getting it's weird. It's only getting part but if you look at the reason, uh, the reason that's happening is that if you keep if your hand there, um, you're, there's a low contrast here between your fingers and the background. Yeah, so yeah, so this light. contract. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're covering a flight, and that's where the difference is. In this particular uh, and that's why I tell we are to like rest when I go hand. like this, my hand so is solid, but when I go like that, Yep, exactly. Because you know, Will's hand is brake color, and compared with the background. <laughs> no, I mean not a hand. Will doesn't get out very much. He's very, very white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you arm, not a hand. Okay, right. Oh, I can just get insults recorded. Can we erase that? Yeah. So. Hey, by the way, how come you, Jackie? You, uh, Jackie, is Kiban. Uh, it was. It was. It was moved. It was moved. He moved it. Oh, because he moved it. Oh, yeah. okay. And it, and 
since we don't generate, so we only, the, prob the big problem here is that we're generating the background once. only at the beginning. Only that's once. Right. Okay, okay, I got it. And that's one of the things I was talking about is like what you want to do is actually generate a background uh -huh. over, over a certain period of time yeah, yeah. in the past. You do not dynam dynamically right. generate the background. And the reason I didn't do that is I think I was having a lot of uh, timing issues. With uh -huh. So what it would do is as it dumps or as it, as it pulls stuff in from the CCD, it goes through the...